what is up youtube i'm back with another video and this is going to be my autograph haul from richmond uh didn't get a, a ton of autographs but i i think the quality is is pretty good here uh saturday when we got there saturday it was uh started raining and stuff so practicing and qualifying was a no-go that was canceled so man I'm, I'm like ugh, this does not look good for today but uh we hung out there at the media center and uh did pretty good better than i expected so went to uh wawa's and got one of these pole position magazines these are free if you guys have a wawa's near you and you are a racing fan i suggest you check it out grab you one of these there's all kind of stuff there's posters in there articles pretty nice uh uh magazine there and it's free got uh some hero cards <clears throat> they had uh some at the stewart haas merch hauler but you had to ask they did not have them out so got the uh new kevin harvick that was awesome got this riley herbs i think this is a double got eric almarola i was happy to get this next one because i don't have a whole lot of stuff of this guy ryan priest and then we got a nice one there of cole custer and the double zero car that's awesome uh got brad keselowski twice i got him first at the uh, richmond nation reception he was an announced guest that was going to be at the uh, q a so i got him on this rookie card from press pass speedway there and then i got him i think this was uh at the red carpet on the other one there that I took with me. So, getting some uh, rookie cards autographed. And speaking of uh, Richmond Nation, there was a surprise guest, and it was none other than Jimmy Johnson. And I, I, I never thought I'd see the guy. I mean, I didn't pack anything, so I got him to sign my uh, Richmond Nation season ticket pass. So, there in black. Uh, see what else I got here. Uh, Saturday, Ross Chastain, I've seen him several times. He was kind of like hanging out, going back and forth there. So I got, I got like four autographs. I had took some hero cards. I got the, uh, the Kubota. I see why Ross is, uh, acquiring quite a fan following he's he's pretty laid back there got him on the uh there with the, getting ready to, to celebrate a win there with the watermelon then i got him on the uh the clover he wrote card then i also got him at the red carpet on 22 dawn rust there that was cool. Seen Joe Gibbs at the red carpet. Got a picture with him. And uh, one of his tracks again. Always great to see the old ball coach Joe Gibbs. <clears throat> this, uh, this guy here came through. And uh, it was pretty cool to get his autograph. Any, any, any of you guys recognize who that might be? I mean, you might think it might be like a uh, sports athlete with that number, but that's, that is that is kind of a hint, but it's not a sports athlete. It is the governor of Virginia, Glenn Youngkin. And the 74, which I learned while I was standing there, that he is the 74th governor of Virginia. So that was cool to get something like that. Got Christopher Bell at the Richmond Nation reception there. 
Christopher Bell. Bright future for that kid. Got Austin Sendrick. He was a, another guest there at Richmond Nation Reception. We've got let's see, Alex Bowman. I think this was Richmond Nation too, I believe. Or this could have been the red carpet. This one was red carpet. I've had this hero card for a long time. Eric Amarola. Oh, I was excited to get this next one. Beautiful hero card. I like the way they did this. But Eric Jones on the Air Force card. That was at the red carpet. Uh, Michael McDowell. And you probably you probably already seen this hero card that I got from eBay. From a seller. There. Early Michael McDowell. We got Ricky Stenhouse at the red carpet. Mr. Daytona 500. And this next guy. And uh, what can you say that hasn't been said already? Kyle Bush on a truck cart. That was the red carpet. We got Noah Gregson there. Red carpet. Chase Briscoe is next. Uh, he was actually doing, doing a, a, an appearance at his merch hauler. And I got another piece in here later on that's going to be towards the end that I got signed there. But I did get him at the red carpet as well on this one. You guys probably seen this one before. A couple of videos ago. Got this guy. And he ended up winning on Sunday. So... Larson there. I got him at the red carpet. Here is the hero card that Chase was given out. And you were allowed to get one thing signed and then he gave you one of these. So that is cool. Chase Briscoe. And if you guys never heard he's actually supposed to have surgery t tomorrow. He was uh, in a crash there at the dirt race uh, I guess it was World of Outlaws, I think, or something or another. And actually ended up messing up his finger. So he's he's got a brace on it right now and he's scheduled for surgery Monday. Uh, let's see what I want to go next. This next item I got back when uh, Circle B sales had their Black Friday stuff. I picked this up for like, I think it was like six bucks, which is way, way, way under what these sell for. And I was like, I could probably get this guy to sign it. And he, I mean, he's he's on fire right now. He won the championship last year, the second one, and he's climbing that ladder in wins, guys. We got Joey Logano. Got him at the uh, red carpet. And I also got a picture of him the, uh, the day before on Saturday. And uh, I didn't get no autographs from him that day because it was raining. I didn't want to take a chance on getting something messed up. Especially with hero cards and racing cards. You don't want to get that stuff wet. You know. But I did was able to quickly get a picture with him there in the fan grounds. See what I want to go out here next. Let's start with some die casts. Uh, okay, we'll do this in first. I got this this one here while we were hanging out at the media center Saturday. And it turned out real nice. You guys probably remember this car, the Wrangler Jeans. In the gold sharpie there, and it kind of matches the uh, some of the gold accents on the car. So that was awesome. Always great to get Martin Truex Jr. It's probably my favorite Toyota driver. And one of the things I was really, really, really hoping to get, and this guy's pretty accessible. He he. Just loves to sign 
and that's this is nice one of the things that was on my list was to get this car finally found it for a decent price and it is the Michael McDowell Daytona 500 wind car got Michael there at the uh, media center on Saturday and sometimes you know the rain works in your favor and uh you know how you might think well how how could the rain work in your favor when you're trying to get autographs well the modified race was supposed to take place friday and it got rained out and there was one guy in particular that i had just gotten a couple cars off facebook for and while we was hanging there hanging out there at the media center I was like, holy cow, there he is. He was like walking by with an umbrella. So I grabbed my car and I went over and I was like, uh, Mr. Labonte, would you mind to sign my car? He's like, sure. And that turned out really nice. On the cow car from, I think this is from 2001, yeah. So happy to get that. Car I gave five bucks for. That's back when they made good quality die casts. I mean, there's things that they do now, as far as the detail goes, I guess, with the race wins and stuff on Lionel's part of it. But, I mean, if you hold one of these die casts from years ago in your hand, and, you, and it, they just have so much weight to them. They just feel like they're better made. I don't know if it's just a cost cut and measure to where they don't want them to weigh as much as far because it won't take as much to ship them but uh, I just think the quality from the action cars years ago is, is a whole lot better than what we have now and I got got this one signed I mean it's it has the confetti on the windshield you might know which one I'm talking about. But, you know, I got it signed. One of my favorite paint schemes from uh, the 20th, 30th anniversary of, well, I guess it would be the 20th anniversary of 9 11. I'm getting my dates mixed up, guys. When Martin Truex Jr. won at Richmond. Uh, I was able to get this one. You can see it there. Looks, looks, it doesn't look too bad, but the confetti and stuff on the windshield. But still cool nonetheless. I got it off the list. So I actually got that one at the Richmond Nation uh, reception. He was a guest there for the Q&A. And where do I put, there it is, the top goes on this Truex. Let's see, I got a few more things. Trying to figure out where to set the stuff right here. Okay, this next car, I was happy to get it signed. This is a first win. You might be able to guess who it is of. Like I said, he did an appearance at his hauler, merchandise hauler. And I got the Mahindra Tractors. Chase Briscoe first wind car sign there in red to match the paint scheme there. Turned out really well. Not quite as much as of the confetti on that car. As was on the Truex, but still cool. Nice, nice, nice looking car there. I guess you would call that what candy apple red. And we're almost done. Just a couple more things to show. Uh, guys, you probably remember me showing that hat. That was so. Uh, serial number on the side that they sell exclusively at the tracks 
I was able to get it signed. And did not expect to get this guy when I went there, but we were hanging out there and he came out. And right there, guys, Kevin Harvick there. And that is awesome, man. It is Federated Auto Parts 400. And it is dated from whenever he won. So that is cool. And limited edition there. Out of 400. Got one more hat. We were there for the truck race. And uh, went back in for Victory Lane. Was lucky enough to get one of the uh, winner's circle hats there that are dated. And got Mr. Chandler Smith on there. Or not the truck race. I'm used to him driving the truck because he won there last year for Kyle Busch. But his Xfinity, his first Xfinity win. I'll get things straight here in a minute. Chandler Smith there. That was cool. And I think we got one more thing. We uh, went back into Victory Lane there on Sunday. And you know that who won that? Young Money, Kyle Larson. And I'm happy for Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys. I did not know at the time that uh, you, you had not been to a race where Larson had won. So I'm glad that worked out in your favor. That is always cool. When you are rooting for a driver and you go, and they ended up and they end up winning, so that is awesome. I, I'm glad that uh, he was able to win that day and give you and your son Gray that moment. That was awesome. And uh, got some confetti there from Victory Lane. I had to hurry up and grab this stuff because they were coming through with a sweeper and clean that stuff up which you know i've gotten confetti there before and they didn't seem like they were in too big of a hurry to get it cleaned up so i i hurried up and got in there and grabbed some stuff after everything and uh was over with but uh we did see jeff gordon there in victory lane but he did not come over there to sign he signed for a few and then he was going as he was going out he signed for a few i wasn't able to get larson at victory lane uh uh, there was just, uh, I mean, a mob of people there. Uh, he he didn't sign a ton. I mean, he, he went over to the other side from where we were at and signed a few, and then he was going. So, but still cool nonetheless. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with Kyle Larson. He, I mean, he, he's, a, he's a wheel man for sure. But uh, that's going to do it for my autographs pickups from Richmond. Uh, Martinsville is on the horizon. Hopefully we do good there. And the weather is nice, uh, but that's one thing you can't control. You can't control the weather. You just got to take it as it comes. But uh, I thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.